Hi to whoever's watching. So I'm making this video because quite a few people on my TikTok ask me questions about my life. Why am I Greek but South African at the same time? Why am I in Greece? Why do I not speak Greek so well? So I won't be too personal about my life but I'll just give a quick rundown of my story. So my family bloodline is Greek and my grandparents all moved to South Africa years ago when the South African Industrial Revolution began. Many Europeans were requested to go to South Africa to start a new life, so jobs were available, etc. So that's what my grandparents did. In those years, they were promised a better life with more financial freedom and job opportunities, etc. And because there was a big Greek community, that's when my parents met, and then obviously they had us. So my sisters and I were born in South Africa, in Johannesburg. And we lived there till we were at a certain age and then we lived in America for a few years Then we went back to South Africa and then in 2014 I decided to leave Cape Town and work overseas in the hotel industry so I left and I worked for two years permanently and I traveled to many different countries and then I decided I wanted to try out Greece because I was Greek I have my Greek citizenship I thought let me just try it out to live in Greece and at the time in 2016 when I came to Greece because of Greece's crisis renting was very very cheap and I had the opportunity to buy apartments I should have taken advantage of that because those years of homes were very very cheap to buy but I didn't I came to Greece casually and I went out a lot I made friends I worked on super yachts which I did not enjoy I worked for some very awful rich people here in Greece um, three different Greek wealthy families that are very very terrible people um, yeah then I just I adopted my cats and I bought a car and I just started living in Athens and then I moved down to an area called Klifada where I really loved living there my job still consisted of traveling so I would have someone take care of my cats whenever I left for work and then I'd come back and have like a little bit of a holiday and spend some time in my apartment and yeah I did that for a couple years and then two years ago I met my partner through mutual vegan friends and I had no idea that he was so far away from me so because I was always traveling and gone it was a struggle to try and meet him but then eventually I did come back to Greece after traveling around in different countries for work and uh, being in India for six weeks I returned and then I met him we spent some time together I fell in love he fell in love so anyways after dealing with distance back and forth we decided to move in together so I've moved into his town and I still leave frequently for work it is a little bit more difficult where I am now to travel as easily as I used to because airports are so far away yeah that's the story um do i like living in greece mm. yes and no i love the summertime of greece it's very beautiful the greek islands the energy um but i don't particularly like the mindset that most of the greek people have it's obviously very difficult to try to find a job in Greece that's a decent pay. I'm living in Greece now for five years and I still don't speak perfect Greek. I still struggle. I read and write like a seven-year-old probably. <laughs> I think, you know, definitely under 10 years old is my reading capabilities. <laughs> A few people write to me and they ask me if I miss home, which is South Africa. Yes, I do. And I often think about the opportunities that I would have if I still lived at home in the field that I'm interested in, which is conservation and working beside wildlife. That's definitely a big sacrifice that I've made for myself. I love my little life with my partner and my animals. We've rescued four animals. So they take up a lot of my time and they give me a sense of purpose. But at the same time, I do wish that I find something more stable to do here in Greece and one day find a job that lets me work within some sort of aspect of nature. I haven't studied and that's something I want to do. If someone hired me and said, hey, your job is to dive in the ocean every day and collect 
trash. <laughs> I would be so happy to do that. Uh, my biggest dream when I was young is um, to work beside elephants and be part of a conservation organization that helps save African wildlife. But I've decided that I'll just have to keep that as a maybe once a year goal to do a trip somewhere in Africa um, to be able to be near wildlife. I have an elephant up on my kitchen counter there. And then over there by my TV. I love elephants. My objective with YouTube, which I suck at it, I'm not very good, but I'll try to get better, um, is to talk about like veganism and environmentalism and animals and things that are going on in the world. I don't know if I'll be any good at it, but hey, I'm gonna give it a go. If it grows and makes me a passive income online, that would be really cool. I've been using TikTok for the past few months and my TikTok has grown a following, which is really cool, but at the same time, it's a bit stressful because I feel the need to constantly check my phone and read people's messages and comments and questions. Um, so it's weird for me, it's new to try this whole put myself out on the internet thing and publicly speak to a camera and I don't know who's behind the screen that's going to be watching my videos or if they even find what I have to say interesting. Um, yeah, the challenge that I face with putting my face out on the internet is there's a lot of mean people. Someone's always gonna have something to say if you put your face out on the internet, which makes me feel a little bit intimidated. For example, yesterday I put a video up on TikTok about things that I preferred in South Africa compared to Greece. And a lot of my preference went to South Africa, despite the fact that we do have a lot of poverty there and crime. It is a very beautiful country. I'm very proud to call it my birth home, my birth country. And unfortunately, I received a lot of hate from people here in Greece saying very vile and awful things. I, I had to delete over 50 terrible comments. I mean, I don't even want to recite of what these comments were being written to me. These people don't know me for a bar of soap. I was just saying that I prefer certain things in my country compared to Greece because that's my country. That's what I prefer. And I had many people write terrible, mean things to me, which is part of the internet. I don't know why you people go on and say such horrible and horrendous things. What makes you guys want to be so mean? I don't know. I don't accept online harassment well, so I delete and I block people. Like, I'll delete the comments and then I'll block them. And the list of the amount of people that I've had to block that I don't even know, who don't know me, I've had to remove their comments and, and them in general from viewing my stuff. It's shocking. I didn't think that this was part of putting your face out on a public platform. But regardless, I am handling it better than I thought I would. I have not shed any tears for the hurtful things that people have written to me, which is a very good thing because I'm a very sensitive person. Um, but there's a lot of really mean and bad people out there that genuinely just wanna like hurt people, run them down, throw them under the bus, humiliate them. I don't know why people do that, but this is part of the human nature and this is something that only time will fix, I believe, if humanity works together to better. Someone asked me what I would ideally love to do in my life and as I mentioned in the video working besides nature and um, helping restore wildlife that's part of it but a big thing is engaging with people and encouraging other people that I don't personally know to change their ways to also improve and I think we all can improve no one's perfect we all have things that we could change in our life and our routine and our habits that can improve the planet our health one another humanity etc so that's one of the biggest things that I want to get into is strengthen the capability of being able to communicate with people via the internet and maybe one day in person uh just to talk about things that I feel that matter because from the little that I've been sharing on the internet and I've had my profiles opened and I've had random people start coming in and asking me questions there's been quite a few 
people that ask me about veganism or things that are happening in the planet or when I post something about mental health and depression I have people engaging and asking questions from me or engaging in conversation. I'm going to end this video now I don't have much more to say so thank you again for watching and um, if you want to know more about me stay tuned I will make an effort to make interesting videos. I actually wrote this list of topics I think a year ago, over a year ago, I wrote all of these. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Stay safe out there and please remember to always be kind.